hooked up to the race trailer you got the chevelle in here hooked up to the service truck about to take it over to our disney warehouse and drop the chevelle off so we can use this trailer tomorrow all right guys y'all are in for a treat i'm over at our showroom right now check this out this is a 71 c10 i put together for me and steve rice did a while back he's got some new wheels coming for it but it's all whole redone suspension rebuilt motor and trans this is our straight six truck putting together Got a 250 straight six. It's been bored over like 60 over. Got a comp cam, dual carb Offenhauser intake, long two headers, fully redone suspension, three speed on the tree. Rear end's been all gone through and redone. Relocated gas tank. Here's our 70 Chevelle. Me and Steve Rice put this together as well. It's the 396. Everything's matching numbers except for the bell housing on the transmission. Oh, and on the insurance. So, my insurance agent ran that. The Jeep for his mobile home. He's got it all hooked up with air brakes and stuff and to haul it behind his mobile home. One sweet little boat. And then our Chevelle that I've been working on right now. This is what I just dropped off out of the enclosed trailer. Just dropped it out so I go to Oklahoma City with this trailer tomorrow and pick up some stuff. But this is the showroom. That boat right there, there's another one just like it. This is a parts boat for one that is just like it that's in our other shop. So this is our showroom. Let me walk out here real quick. Got a jet ski heading over here, a couple kayaks. So this is the showroom here. And then over here is a little workshop. They got a bunch of woodworking tools and stuff in it. And uh, in here is a boat similar, just like that other one in there that I said was for parts. And it's gonna be painted to match the straight six truck, the frame that I was just showing you. And it's gonna be painted to match. And the boat actually has a straight six Chevy motor in it. So it'll have the same motor, same paint scheme, and they'll be able to pull that boat around with that truck. This is a Trojan that we're doing a bottom job on that uh, whenever I get the chance, I need to come help Kale do the bottom job on it. But he's got a full and brand new interior for it sitting inside of it, just needs to be put together. So just giving you all a little look around the showroom and everything, showing y'all this is actually where they started their company out of Omni Water, was out of this building right here. And now they're at the other shop where we were at. But that's the workshop, wood shop, and then this is the showroom. And then y'all see what's going on with my shop being built. The chunky hair blowing in the breeze. <laughs> All right, so we are about to replace the side mirror on this truck. It is a 2020 GMC Sierra Denali. Beautiful truck. Got the 6.2 in it. Nice and oversized factory wheels on it. Beautiful black truck. So what we are doing is replacing this guy right here. We had a little mishap, had the glass break out of it and whatnot. And uh, it's broke right here as well. 
and we're getting some moisture right here so we're going to replace just the whole thing um, the only thing we need off of this mirror is this chrome piece it will go on the new one which is back here this is right from the chevy dealership it was 318 dollars for this guy which isn't bad considering all the stuff that's in these nowadays so here is the new one it's got the light that goes on the bottom it's got the lane sensing it's got um, blind spot indicators you know the whole nines and i like this style that they're doing now with this one big connector versus having a couple connectors for your power uh power uh, tilt and everything like that so that's really nice so yeah the only thing we need to do is swap that over for this one and uh get this guy bolted on here looks like it's just four bolts what i'm using to take the panels off is these non-marring plastic little pry bar type deals so use these guys because they don't aren't going to scratch it up and mess anything up and they're pretty little handy dudes so we're going to go in here and we're going to feel around and find where the uh the uh, pins are in there and pop them loose all right so as you can see i've already gone in here and started getting after it some this is the panel you want to pull back it's this whole piece all the way around but um, it looks like you can just get these couple pop rivets there's one here there's one here and then one right next to it and there's one right here but this one's being kind of stubborn so i think i'm able to get in here there's also this little boot right here that sits in there and plugs this off but i think i'll be able to get my ratchet in here and get these nuts off and get that connector unplugged without having to pull this off anymore so i'm gonna go ahead and get my socket in there and get those loose and unplug it and hopefully it should come right off and then we'll get the new guy on there so all there is to it is you pull those bolts out undo the connector which is the little push tab for the top for the connectors on the top and be nice and easy to get to I got the chrome piece swapped over. This guy literally just pulls straight out. Um, but be careful because the, t uh, the tabs aren't aren't very strong. But that guy is on there. Um, all you do is you pull that, pull the bolts out, pull that old guy off, put the new one back in there, have someone give you a hand holding it there, put the nuts on it, put the connector on, and then she should be good. Pop the panels all back on and everything. So let's see here, we'll test the tilt in. So we've got that. Let's see if we've got adjustment. We've got adjustment. Light on the bottom is working. So as you can see, we got it all back together and in working order. So that's where we're gonna cut this video off. Thanks for watching.